Hello viewers, it's Peter Sunday of SPD Media. And today I'm going to show you how you can put a lyrics on your screen or how you can bring your scripture to your screen just like this. So quickly, you're going to need an app to do this. So however, I'm going to bring another screen in for you to see what I'm doing. Uh, you can do it on your iPad and you can also do it on your phone but for the sake of this tutorial i'm using another phone to do this so i'm going to bring in the phone display into my screen the name of the app that i use is uh, logo maker logo maker is an app that you can use to create a lot of graphics I use it to do so many things in my switcher studio. So because the switch at the moment the switcher studio cannot let you do this type of graphic. So I'm just using like a third party app that I already have. It has nothing to do with switcher studio and I'm not doing the app. I'm not marketing any app. I'm just telling you how you can make your your visual display look more professional. So quickly this is the screen that you are seeing is the how i created what i just show you so but we're going to do it from the scratch so what you do is you start a new project when you open up a new project now i have it in i think it's this is this is a square shape for like your normal instagram so to bring in um a an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 uh, regardless of what you want to do what you do is you need to have a screenshot of the aspect ratio that you want to bring in so the first part of it is the transparent background photo gallery photo color and the bottom you got the background graphics text and shape so but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to tap on the photo when I tap on the photo, I'm going to go into my camera raw and bring a picture that will give me the same aspect ratio that I'm trying to create. So this is my aspect ratio that I'm trying to create. So the next thing that I do now is I need to tap on transparent. So it's going to wipe out the image and just keep that aspect ratio. So then from there, uh, we go to my shape from the bottom is the last one at the bottom when i click on my shape so from the shape i can drag it across the screen just making sure that everything fits i'm making sure that i'm trying to cover the aspect ratio so that by the time i i get out of here everything is going to fit perfectly so you can you can tap on the on the ball arrow at the at the ball at the top to pull it to increase it or reduce the wideness of your shape so and one thing is when you move the shape back and forth it gets to the middle it's going to draw a line to, to to show you how centralized your shape is so i'm going to just drop it right there i can bring it down a little bit so from here what you can do is you can go and pick your color so for this color i think i pick this blue if i remember or i think it's this blue and you bring the opacity down as you bring the opacity down it's going to make it a little bit transparent from what is going to be behind it so then from here i already copy the scripture in the clipboard when i tap on it and and paste it i just okay it and the next thing i do is i'm just gonna shrink it down shrink it down shrink it down until i'm satisfied that that is what i want so I can actually make it a two line, a two line graphics. So I can put it here and tap 
at the background and still shrink it down a little bit i can still double tap on it and add this is the king king james version then i'll okay it all right so then we're going to create another shape quickly i'm just going to do another shape at the top and i'll put that one right here so on this shape that is what i want to use to show what i'm so genesis genesis 7 11 it's the scripture so i can shrink it down a little bit to fit this and i can i can get another color for this so i can do like maybe red i can pick color red and bring down the opacity red might not fit let's do pink bring the opacity down i can still bring shrink it down a little bit and shrink the test down also and put it on top of it now the whole thing is is making sense i just need to bring this down yeah now i want it to connect but i don't want it to overlap okay right there so we're going to work again on the bottom part it seems too long it's well centralized now done from here we're gonna click we're gonna save it with no background and there it is so from here i can airdrop it to my ipad so when i tap on the so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring that graphics in so here it is so this is the one that we just did and we can actually push it down a little bit and there it is so this is the one we just did and this is the one that i use as a reference so just to let you know like from the template of the app you can keep that template and just continue to copy and paste into it and just drag to highlight them into the position and just click on the scripture itself at the top and change it to whatever and just copy paste save it out copy paste save it out it's just the first one to create it that seems a little bit uh, it, that will give you time to put everything in in a good perspective but as soon as you finish the first one just continue to copy and paste and export it out from the app so thank you for watching once again and this is going to be the end of the video it's spd media i am peter sunday don't forget to hit subscribe button and push the notification bell so that you don't miss out on when next i drop another video thanks for watching until next time the next video